Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering Dreamweaver CX CS6's new tool for creating responsive web design and use it while using a grid system. So let's go ahead and click here in File. I'm going to create New Fluid Grid Layout. All right, so what this does is combine a CSS grid system with media queries to make it a fluid uh, layout that will work on mobile and tablet devices as well as a desktop. So once this window pops up, you'll see we can um, an image of a smartphone, which looks more like an iPhone, a tablet, and a desktop. Right here, we can go ahead and create how many columns we want within our layout. Here, we'll, this will adjust the gutter, the spacing in between each column, and here we'll adjust the, the container width. Okay, so I'm going to leave all this here. I'm going to go ahead and create our file. So right now it wants us to save where we uh, create a file where we're going to save all of our styles at. So I'm going to just call this styles. That CSS. Okay. All right. So right here it's opening up on the smart our page for our smartphone view. Now let's go ahead and save this real fast and call this index.html. All right, and this, we want to save some more files into our directory. This is uh, respond.js, which is a minified version. It handles media queries for older browsers. And this is a boiler, uh, the boilerplate CSS from the HTML5 uh, boilerplate. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those. All right, so let's go ahead and go into code view real quick. See, we have everything nice and commented right here. So it lets you know what these things do. We got, uh, we're bringing in, if it's not IE9, bring the HTML shiv. We can go ahead and uh, do this, add classes for, you know, handling old IE browsers, which I do believe the boilerplate's taken care of some comments on this all right and this this is yet again a minified uh, fied version of a javascript file so let's go ahead and go back in design and if you notice dreamweaver gives us these grids right here so we you know they use as reference points so let's go ahead and click right here this is within our container and this is a starter div layout that comes with it when you create the file. So we can go ahead and delete that. Let's go ahead and split. Click on this. Let's go ahead and delete this. We're going to add our own. Okay, so my Dreamweaver is set up in the classic view, so I don't know how yours will be. So my inserts panel is up top. We can go ahead and go to layout and see right here. We'll click insert fluid grid layout div tag. All right, and let's go ahead and give this an ID of header. All right, and this is going to start a new row. And let's go ahead and pretend this is we're mocking up a real site. We can go ahead and do something like this H1 header okay save that let's go back here to design there's our header tag now if we was to click on this right here we can go ahead and decide how many columns we want this to to take up make it two we can make it one you now we can or we can do the full the full thing now, if you notice right here, our styles, there's something has been written to our styles.css file. So we go here, and this is where our new element was created. It writes it to here. So as of right now, to use this system, we have to insert a fluid div tag because what it does is it creates the property and it, uh, it writes it to the CSS file for you. Now you can go ahead and say you want to, instead of using a div tag and you want to use the header tag, you can go ahead and go in, 
change this to header header and you still get the same functionality but the thing is what you need right here is the ID so this is appended to the ID alright so let's go ahead and add some more stuff yet again let's make sure we're inside our grid container uh, div class let's add uh, let's make this look kind of like a blog post so we'll have say an ID of article let's have another one we're going to go ahead and call this add space blocks have add spaces on them and then we can do footer okay let me just do some cosmetic things to article h3 add space okay save that all right so this is what we're working with got a header article add space and footer if you look down here You'll see this is we're working on the mobile si uh, size. So let's go ahead and go up one. On our tablet, we don't want everything to be just like this. Say we want our ad space to be on the right side and our article not to take up the full width. Let's go ahead and click on this. See here, we can go ahead and resize here and drag it on over. Let's go ahead and make it three or four. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make this one three. Now you see this arrow right here. We can make this pop up. So we can move up to the next row. Click that. All right, so actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it more uh, margin to the left. So we can go on this side and we can do a whole grid or a whole column. There we go. All right, so that's for our tablet. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Go snap it to the end. Move that back up. All right, so that's how we want it for a tablet view and then let's go ahead and go right here for desktop could bring this to about here and we can bring this down to about there stretch that out there we go alright so now let's go ahead and Go right here into our styles.css and then we go ahead and save. Now, let's see in Dreamweaver, we can go to window to preview this. We can go window, actually, no. See, right here, we can do a multi screen test and then let's go live. multi-screen preview so this is what it will look like on different um, you know view sizes phone tablet desktop all right I'm gonna go ahead and pause this because I'm gonna add some styles to make this look more you know presentable so you can actually get a better idea of this okay I'm back so 
I got in it. Uh, I've gone ahead and made it look like a like a t uh, typical blog post. And I got some lorem lipsum in here. Add add space. So this is what it will look like in our smaller browser windows, like a smartphone. Okay. This is our tablet view. And on our desktop. So let's go ahead and preview this in Google Chrome. All right. I'm gonna open Google Chrome up. All right, so this is in our normal browser window. We got our header, article, ad space, and our footer. All right, now let me go ahead and start to shrink the page. And you can see how it's also very responsive. How everything is moving to make space while still keep, keeping itself in the uh, grid layout. See nothing folds over. Then once we get to a small enough window size, the ad space comes down and everything lines up. So this was a quick overview of how to use Dreamweaver CS6's Fluid Grid uh, layout system. And uh, if you enjoyed and uh, <clears throat> if you enjoyed and learned something from this video, go ahead and give it a quick like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Leave any comments. Uh, pertaining to uh, this video in the comment section or if you need want to see something or me to cover anything go ahead and leave it in the comment section i see what i can do for you thank you